Hello lovely children. I hope you all are doing great, keeping yourself safe and protecting your family from this coronavirus. Children, please please wash your hands, keep yourself sanitized and do not go out. The only way to fight from this coronavirus is to follow the instructions. Children, my name is Shivani Sharma. I will be your EVS teacher. I'll be teaching you about animals, plants, your environment and everything that EVS contains. Children, in this um, video, I will be able to connect with you and explaining you the chapters that we are going to take for the first unit of class 3. Children, the first chapter we are going to take is where do we live? Very important chapter because today we are confined in our houses to protect ourselves and we are learning the importance and the need of the house. Likewise, in our chapter number 14 of our EVS textbook, the chapter is where do we live on page number 100, we are going to know about the need and importance of the house, the types of houses one can live in, the, the dif different ways in which we can keep our house clean. In this chapter, we are going to you know, uh, know about the decoration of our houses, how we can decorate our houses, how we can make our house more beautiful. So there are many things we are going to learn in this chapter. On page number 100, you will find uh, there is a very beautiful picture of Ria's house. If you don't have a textbook, don't worry. Design, create your own house children. I would want you to just have a blank paper, have your pencil and your creativity with you. You all need to be an architect in your mind and design your beautiful house. Create your house, build your house and fill with the maximum beautiful colors you can. This will be your first day work. So don't think that Shivani ma'am has just entered and started giving us work. So I'm just putting it more creative way for you. So children, you are going to draw your house, create your house with the different beautiful colors. Children, in this chapter, we are going to know about, you know, the, the importance of having a house. So the first important information is that we are keeping ourselves safe from coronavirus. Where are we right now? We are in the house, right? Who's keeping the, the you know, the built walls, you know, the atmosphere of our safe environment inside the house is keeping us safe. So that is the reason the importance of house is very much important. So children, we will know about that, you know, we live in our home. It gives us shelter, right? It protects us from rain, from crouching sun, from the heat, wind and cold. It also protects us from thieves and wild animals, you know. Whenever, you know, there are uh, wild animals, of course, they, they cannot enter our societies, they cannot enter our houses, but then what if a, a lion comes inside, like across a lane? So where will we run first? We'll go to our house, right? So when it rains, where do we run first? We run towards our houses. So our house protects us from the rain, from cold atmosphere, from freezing cold winters like we have experienced earlier. We, we be inside the cozy, warm blankets and quilts. So it protect us, right? Likewise, we are, you know, our house protect us from the crouching heat. We, who wants to go out? We all would want to, you know, stay inside our houses. The houses are very, you know, very cold, very cozy when we are inside the house, right? So this is the third reason why our house is important what if somebody doesn't have a house would that person be able to protect him or herself from the rain from the cold or from the crouching heat i'm sure no so you have understood how beautiful how lovely your house is so it provides us comfort and rest whenever we are tired whenever we you know we go out we go out for shopping we go out to play we go out for any other work when we come home, the first thing that we say is, wow, house is house. There's nothing like house, right? So this is how our house protects us from all the environment dust pollution 
and all the other things that we do not want outside when we come home we are in protected we are happy and safe inside it a neighborhood is formed by several families that live near each other in their own houses so what is our neighborhood who is our who are our neighbors people who are living next to our house people who are just adjacent opposite you know just closer to our house they are our neighbors so our neighborhood is the number of people the the you know, amount of people who are living around us living inside our society living near to our house they are our neighbors many neighborhoods together form a colony so what is a colony many many neighbors who are living together they form a colony they form a society we all live in a society we have our towers in those towers in those buildings we have our flats we have our houses suppose i don't live in a house you don't uh, live in a, you know in a particular flat house or you don't live in a particular uh, plotted house so we live in a in a house where it can be of any type it can be a proper house it can be a flat it can be anything so wherever we live we have neighbors around us these neighbors they form a neighborhood and these neighborhood houses they form a colony so we are we have understood the importance of house first of all the importance of having a neighbor around us also the what forms a colony the number of people who are living with us together they form a colony so now children many colonies together form a city or town suppose we have a this is my colony i live in a particular flat in a particular society the name of my society is xyz you can name your society right so suppose you live in a particular society so number of society together they form and they become a proper city or a or an area right or a town particularly so this is how the societies and the colonies and the neighborhood how do they form and how do they they provide an importance to our societies so the people in neighborhood help and care for each other a human being is a social being who cannot live alone right children so this is how all the neighborhood live together happily and help each other in a very in in all the crises or in all the time of need who is always there with us it's our neighbors first of all suppose ex family goes through a situation where they cannot call their relatives immediately right who they would want first they would definitely inform and talk to the house next to them that means to their neighborhood like children neighborhood is our first families is our the closest family so we should have that bond and connect with our neighborhoods to have a wonderful happy living in the particular colony in the society and together we can form a form a better world and environment to live in so today children we have understood the importance of the house right why are houses so important to us we have understood the neighbor what are neighbors who are our neighbors neighbors are your friends you know you have your colony friends inside your you know inside your colonies right they are your neighbors they are your friends you all go to the park in the evening you all you know go out for cycling evening parks walk and everything so who do we go with do we go with our relatives no we go with our neighbors the, our neighbors i have so many neighbor friends like you also have your neighbor friends right so we all have a wonderful bond and connect with our neighbors and together these neighbors live and care for each other having a happy environment having a lovely environment to stay inside the house and in your particular colony now children move if we move from the neighborhood many neighborhood they form a colony they form a colony right you've understood what colony is in colony is a particular area in which many neighborhoods many families and societies they live together that is your colony and then what is a town or a city a town or a city is what in which many colonies are together and together they form a town or a city so children today we have learned about the neighborhood the uh the importance of having a wonderful neighbor the need of keeping our house uh you know why do what is the importance of having a wonderful house next is your colonies and your cities and town children 
today you will just create and design your beautiful house and you will fill it with the maximum colors make it a more vibrant house design your own house have a wonderful you know imagine what kind of dream house you have just build a dream house on a blank sheet on a paper explore your feelings and emotions on that paper and build and create your beautiful dream house with this you you can just imagine you know just close your eyes and feel what kind of house you need so in that you can just put maximum colors make it more vibrant and and make a beautiful very beautiful wonderful house all right children for now today we have uh, just learned about three things tomorrow i'll be catching up again continuing the same chapter with you with a short recap and you all can share your work done on my number that i that i have created a group uh, with your parents all right and parents it's a small short message for you you can share your child's work with me and i'll be more than happy to help you thank you parents thank you children keep healthy eat healthy stay safe